Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video and this time I'm diving into designing for the iPhone 10. Maybe we will also call it iPhone X every now and then. That doesn't really matter, but the main topic that we are going to discuss is what new features, what new things we need to consider when designing for the iPhone 10 in comparison to the iPhone 7 or 8. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys know that there are the iOS human interface guidelines that help us to design amazing user interfaces for the iOS operating system and also for the iPhones in general. They give us some new information about the iPhone 10 and about the relevant aspects that we need to consider when designing for the iPhone 10. So we see in this little graphic in this concept right here that we, we designers now have the ability to put more content into, into the visible space of a user. So um, you see the normal uh, 4.7 inch display from the uh, iPhone 6, 7 and 8 on the left side and then we see the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 has about 20% additional points and additional space in the end in comparison to the iPhone like as I said 6, 7 or 8. Next thing we need to consider are the rounded corners. So there are a few rounded corners and then we have like this sensor camera space at the top. This is space that we need to consider because uh, usually, you see it on this left side right here, we just have our timestamp right there and like this mobile and Wi-Fi connection stuff as well as the battery life. And now on the iPhone 10, this switch to the left and to the right and in the middle and the center there is the sensor and camera space. We can't really use this and we need to make sure that we are in charge of all the guides of all the like rounded corners that are there that are on the device because uh, for example also at the bottom of the iPhone 10 there is this little bar that you can drag up for your uh, like what is it called like control center I guess we can't use this as well now the cool thing is that Apple also gave us some resources so we don't have to start from the bottom we don't have to like uh, try to find out all these different uh, rounded corners, what they are in detail. And Apple is giving us a few resources for Photoshop, Adobe XD and Sketch. I downloaded them already and we have some examples right here, some example designs. Uh, this is just like the home screen and the notification screen and so on. But we get an impression of the rounded corners of the uh, sensor camera bar at the top and uh, we can like try out a few things so uh, I'm going to give you a quick run-up of all these different parts of this uh, resource of this sketch resource in the end and this will be like the base from which uh, the new upcoming tutorials about the iPhone X will be so I'm always going to use these like concepts I'm always going to use the grids that they are giving us and let's start out. This is a tapped app. You see that we have the tab bar at the bottom and usually we don't have this bar right here or this home indicator or what they are calling it. Um, we usually just have a plain tab bar but right now we need to consider that there are um, not just these tabs but also this indicator and the rounded corners. So. In our resource right here, we have a folder called guides. And this folder is containing all the rounded corners and assets that we need to consider. So I can hide this really quick. And you see that there is some more information showing because uh, this screen right here is also part of the guides. It's part of the safe area and we can hide and unhide these uh, rounded corners as I said. Okay, then we get a new uh, artboard right here which is called uh, the parent which is the left one and the right one is the child with our back button and uh, we have the large title and also a toolbar at the bottom that we can use in our designs and as well of course as well as in the previous artboard we have these guides available that we can hide or unhide. They also gave us the edit mode uh, artboard basically or how this is going to look like 
and we have the cancel button, done button and the title of, of it. And then we have a huge, huge overview of UI elements that we can simply copy and paste into our artboards. We don't have to recreate them every time. We can simply use them and they are already created as symbols. So we should usually be able to use them really easily and we should be able to uh, work with those symbols and instances so super fast. So thanks Apple also for making those available as symbols and not just as simple, simple uh, like rectangles and icons. We even get a few like sharing possibilities, menus, uh, keyboards right there. I think we won't really use them, but I, I think those could be useful quite some time if you're working on a, on a real project. Um, but what we will probably use in every tutorial are these bars elements. So we already need those status bars. We need the title bars, navigation bars or whatever they are called. And you can download those assets as well. I'm gonna link all these things that I talked about right now down in the video description. And as I said, those things, those are assets and also the insights, the tips of Apple or by Apple, the human interface guidelines, they will be part of the upcoming tutorials because we will start a design for the iPhone 10 uh, video series. I hope you enjoyed it. We will of course do it in sketch and um, I'm very excited for it. One thing that I want to show you or that I want to like tell you about is that sketch didn't uh, include the iOS design user uh, interface template directly. We have the iPhone 10 uh, artboard, but we don't have the template to create an iOS design anymore. I don't know if there was like a copyright uh, problem there. We still have the material design or web design um, templates, but we don't have our iOS 11 and iPhone 10 um, template. So we will just use the one that, that I uh, showed you right now, the, the official one by Apple basically. You can download it and use it while designing uh, apps for the iPhone 10. So this is the base. This is what I will use in the upcoming tutorials and I hope you enjoy that we will work on iOS 10 and I hope that you enjoy that we will work on iPhone 10 apps in the upcoming weeks. So thanks for listening, thanks for tuning in. I hope you have a nice time and we'll see us in the next tutorial. This video was sponsored by Dev Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!